Welcome back to my Keep Up channel. Red Bull F1 boss Christian Horner and wife Jerry Hallowell can build second swimming pool at their grade 2 listed mansion, but must get archaeologists in to make sure artifacts buried on their land are protected as it is dug out. Christian Horner and his pop star wife Jerry Hallowell have been given the go-ahead to build a second swimming pool at their grade 2 listed mansion. But the high-flying pair must hold off on celebrations because they have been ordered to get archaeologists in to make sure any artifacts buried on their land are protected as it is dug out, with the council warning there is potential for high-significance archaeological assets to be found in the area. Planning documents submitted in January showed the Spice Girl, 51, and F1 Red Bull boss, 50, had applied to install the pool in their garden, alongside new decorative planting and a heat pump to keep the water warm. The conclusion to their planning battle comes after their plans were branded the height of disrespect by neighbors who were left fuming that the pool may spoil the quiet of the tiny village, with one saying that funerals in the local church could be interrupted by screaming, shouting and splashing. Now, as their plans are approved, council officials appear to be more worried about what may be disturbed under the ground at the couple's Northamptonshire mansion. It comes just 10 years after Christian applied to build a different swimming pool in a barn across the road from their luxury pad. He confirmed that it had been built in an interview with Luxury London in 2019, where he said he was trying to get it ready in time for the British Grand Prix. Jerry and Christian will not be able to start development until they have implemented a program of archaeological work on the site, including fieldwork, a post-excavation assessment and post-excavation analysis. The singer had daughter Bluebell, 18, with screenwriter Sasha Gervasi, in 2005. Christian shares a daughter, Olivia, 10, with his ex-partner, Beverly Allen. The Horners also have a six-year-old son Montague together. Oxford Archaeology found that the site had a long history of human occupation, dating back to the The Old Stone Age, around 900,000 years ago. They said, it is located in an area with a long history of human occupation. There is evidence that the area has been continuously inhabited since the Paleolithic, and the village is probably of early medieval date, although the majority of the extant buildings date to the late medieval period. There have been few archaeological excavations within the village, but some have identified medieval or undated remains. The garden being replaced by the pool has been used as a kitchen garden since the 18th century, with the experts deciding that the only area at risk of disturbing artifacts was the deep end of the pool where works would go down two meters into the soil. Reviewing the findings, the council said, as there is potential for archaeological assets on site which could be disturbed, the assessment concludes that further archaeological investigation may be required. WNC Archaeology have reviewed the document and agreed with the conclusions of the desk-based assessment that the site is likely to be significantly disturbed within the first C, 50 MBGL, leading to reduced archaeological potential. They have therefore recommended that substantive groundworks are subject to a program of archaeological observation, investigation, recording, analysis, and publication during the construction phase of the proposed development. Officers have no reason to disagree with this view, and these works will be required by way of condition. They will also have to build the external wall from natural ironstone, which needs to be laid, dressed, coursed and pointed with a lime-based mortar and approved by the council in writing before anything else can go ahead. The couple's planning war rumbled on amid Horner's Red Bull scandal, where campaign groups backed a female employee who was suspended after she raised a complaint about the team principal over inappropriate sex texts. Horner has been cleared of any wrongdoing. And Jerry and Christian faced further turbulence as their swimming pool plans were angrily received by locals around their country estate. Complaining to the council, one neighbor raged, the proposed open-air swimming pool does not only affect my house, but also the church, which is directly opposite the proposed site. Many local families attend the church and of course the rector conducts weddings, baptisms, and funerals. It would be the height of disrespect to be standing in the churchyard during an interment to be distracted by screaming, shouting and splashing from a short distance away. But the council batted away these complaints, saying the proposed works are minor alterations and there is no sound reason to refuse the plan. They also note that there is another swimming pool already present to the north of the church, at roughly the same distance from the graveyard as the Horner's plans. Officers said, therefore, even if the swimming pool noise was considered to be harmful, 
it would not be viewed to cause any further risk of noise impact on the Church of St. Lawrence than the existing pool to the north. They continued, from a planning perspective, the use of a swimming pool in the rear garden of a property would raise no further concern than the ordinary everyday use of a garden. Swimming pools can ordinarily be constructed without planning permission, enabling homeowners to enjoy their garden areas. Should the use of the pool result in late night parties and loud music, then this would be subject to control through the environmental health legislation. In the original documents, the couple said the works to the historic family home are being done in an effort to modernize the grounds as they hope to enhance its unique character. The 40 feet by 16 foot pool is being built complete with a fountain, topiary, sunbeds, and a 6 feet deep end alongside their greenhouse and to the side of the main home, the plans show. Many of the documents were submitted on January 2, days after Christian was named in the New Year's list for services to motorsport following another victorious season at Red Bull. And just a month later, on February 5, Red Bull Racing's parent company GmbH confirmed Horner was under investigation following an accusation of inappropriate behavior, for which he was later cleared. The woman, in her 40s, went to HR at the Formula One team after she received the messages from Horner who was married to former Spice Girl Jerry Halliwell, often late at night. She accused him of coercive behavior, but an internal inquiry chaired by an unknown KC appointed by Red Bull cleared him. Horner has strongly denied any wrongdoing. The application in January came just a year after the couple applied to expand their mansion with a whole new floor as the planning application stating they need more room for their growing family. The mansion already has five bedrooms, with one each for the couple and the three children they have between them, alongside a spare bedroom. It also already has a stunning indoor pool set in one of the barns, complete with a gymnasium and changing facilities. The sporting boss applied to convert the agricultural structure in 2013, a year before he and Jerry confirmed their relationship. Speaking about escaping the frantic pace of F1 in 2019 to luxury London, Christian said, Restoring the farm has been my hobby, the way I put racing out of my mind. The main house is finished, but now the barns are being converted. We're currently putting the finishing touches to an indoor swimming pool, which is meant to be ready for the British Grand Prix weekend next month. The latest application also includes plans to revitalize the celebrity duo's stunning walled garden, retaining the existing topiary where possible, but adding a new vegetable and rose garden complete with tree arches. Maps show areas of the garden mapped out for raised beds, an apple or rose walk, vegetable growing, and even a fruit cage. Other planned details include a bespoke bullnose paving surround for the pool, an outside shower, and storage for the cushions on their sunbeds. The couple's design and access statement says, The primary objective of this proposal is to introduce an outdoor swimming pool that complements the existing property, providing a functional and aesthetically pleasing addition to the rear garden. The proposal seeks to rejuvenate the current walled garden with the existing topiary and design axis informing the character and design of the new layout. The existing greenhouse and a small stone outbuilding will be preserved and incorporated into the proposal. They continued, We believe the proposed swimming pool and associated landscaping will provide new purpose and focus to the walled garden in a manner which is sensitive and appropriate to the character and setting of the property. The former pop star and racing boss have been revamping their pad over the last few years, with a replacement to their glass house and conversion of the dovecot also up for planning permission in 2022. The new west wing extension would have sat above what would have been the servant's wing, which was built in 1840. Alongside a huge lawn, the Horner's house boasts two kitchen gardens, two paved terraces, and stables. The house features a large oval dining room, an orangery, a huge wood-paneled study, and a conservatory. The couple have previously been slammed by locals as they sought part retrospective planning permission after replacing their barn. One neighbor said, The advent of a mezzanine floor has clearly increased the height and pitch of the roof, although not the footprint of the building. The overhead image shows that the new metal roof is now very light in color and thus, with increased pitch, has become far more visually prominent. Had a planning application been submitted prior to the rebuild, we would have commented and requested that consideration be given to the dominant appearance of the barn. We would have requested that the barn be no larger than the barn it was to replace, and the roofing material to be used should be less visually intrusive. 
We hope therefore that now the barn has been built retrospective action can be immediately taken to partially screen the barn and the incongruous industrial-looking roof through the planting of and subsequent maintenance of large suitably located and fast-growing native trees. In May last year the globetrotting couple had their first horse racing win, with a steed named after the Spice Girls' 1999 number one single, Two Become One. The six-year-old gelding pocketed 175 pounds in winnings at a point-to-point -point race at Mollington Racecourse, near Banbury, Oxon. Source, dailymail.co.uk Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.